If you experience needle breaks while you're stitching flats on your red line, in this video I will show you what you can check to help prevent this issue from happening. First, make sure your thread is not getting stuck underneath the spool. These can easily cause a needle break when your thread gets caught or jammed under the spool. These cause a lot of attention and can pull your needle causing it to bend or even not to go into the hole of the needle plate. This can cause the needle to break. Also make sure your needle is installed properly. You might try uninstalling and reinstalling the needle to make sure that it's installed properly. Make sure to put the needle all the way up into the needle holder because installing the needle to a lower position can cause the needle to break. Move the sewing head to needle number 8. In this step we are going to check if the needle is aligned to the hole of the needle plate. Using the main shaft block knob, load the needle and verify if the needle is aligned at the center of the hole of the needle plate. Also in this step you can verify if you feel any obstruction while the needle is entering through the hole of the needle plate. If the needle 8 is not centered to the hole of the needle plate, you will need to align the head and I am going to show you how you can do this. First you will need to remove the cover of the color change mechanism by removing the two screws on the top. By removing the cover, you will expose the color change mechanism. Then you need to loosen this screw. You're not going to remove it, just loosen. Then you need to loosen the other screw from the other side. Then carefully tap the head from one side to the other until the needle gets to the center of the needle plate. Once the needle is at the center of the needle plate, Tied up the screws of the color change mechanism. Using the block knob of the main shaft, test the needle to see if you don't feel any obstruction all the way down and all the way up. Another option to verify it is to remove the needle plate, like it's shown in this video. To remove the plate, you will have to remove the two screws on top and then after removing the plate you will expose the rotary hook. Remove the bobbin from the hook assembly. Carefully load the needle manually and inspect if the needle is getting caught by the rotary hook. This rotary hook is on timing and you can see how close the rotary hook passes through the needle. So if the rotary hook of your machine is out of timing, for sure it will break the needle. I will place a link on the description below of how to check the timing of your machine. Other possible thing that might be happening is that probably your rotary hook is on timing, but your needle is too close to the tip of the rotary hook and that might be causing the needle to break. So at 200 degree use a flat screwdriver to push the needle to see if the needle have a little play. If the needle does not have any play and your needle is touching the rotary hook you must redo the timing. Another possibility it's the needle dip. At 180 degree the needle must reach 6 millimeter between the peg of the rotary hook and the tip of the needle. This is the needle dip gauge and you can buy it from our online store. This can help you know if the needle dip is correct or you can also use this tool to calibrate the needle dip of your red line embroidery machine. Simply insert the gauge with the flat side pointing up then twist the gauge and the tip of the needle barely must touch the round surface of the gauge. As you can see in this particular machine, the needle is a little lower, probably by one or two millimeters. I won't be worried about this, but if it's much lower, you will need to redo the needle dip. In order to adjust the needle dip, you need to remove the red line cover, manually load the needle to 180 degrees, then loosen this screw 
and adjust the height of the needle dip. It's very important to maintain these two rings at the same distance.